Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog. You may also know me as the Chatty Pen Pal channel. And I'm here today with a fall themed uh, snail mail <laughs> for pen pal inspiration. Now, yes, that was a weird angle, but that's my kitty cat Noose. For those of you that have been with me for a longer time, um, Noose used to make a lot of appearances in my videos, but lately she doesn't jump on my desk as often as she used to anymore. So I just thought I would show you that even though you guys don't see her as often, she's still there with me when I craft. <laughs> she's even with me now when I'm doing this voiceover. So, like I said, this will be a fall themed snail meal. I'm making all sorts of little elements to go in a meal that I actually sent out today. I have, um, I'm doing this voiceover on Wednesday, so two days ahead of schedule. Yay me. And I sent it out today, so I'm really afraid. I'm actually certain that it has not arrived yet. By the time i upload this video so for one of you it's going to be a spoiler because this is sent as a p.o box reply but i hope that even though i've already spoiled the surprise it, it's still fun to look at when the person actually receives it i also have to tell you that this will be part of a mini 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 series this is part one and then i have another part two i was originally not planning on making two series but i got so excited and happy and i got so many ideas when i was creating this meal that i had i wanted to do more <laughs> so there's going to be a part two of this video but that will be online next week so let me explain what you are looking at that brownish golden envelope is from a flower bouquet i received they put the note of the sender in that not too pretty if I may say so <laughs> a little envelope and of course I knew that I had to receive it it also has a little window in it which was where my address was I've covered that up with washi tape now just for the time just for the gluing because I was afraid I would accidentally put glue <laughs> on the window so there's a window underneath the dotted washi tape and the reason why well, I don't think I have to explain to you why I'm reusing that because it's adorable and I love little windows, but it's especially suitable now because I have a Patreon account. You've heard of me talk about that before. And every month over on Patreon, we do a monthly craft club challenge. And this month, you may have guessed it, is work with something see-through. So you can take that any way you like. If it has a see-through element, it definitely counts. So a window or a shaker or a little peeking, peeking hole <laughs> into the project or anything that you can come up with. So far, we have some really, really fun, um, fun entries, which is really cool. And this is another one of mine. So the little window, I would have always reused that, but I was even more inspired to work with it now. And because I didn't really like that golden brownish color I decided first to cover it up with little paper scraps this is not that common for me to work with I mean I've been doing a lot of collages especially since that was last month's craft club challenge but to actually cover an entire paper like this with different paper scraps I find it challenging to make it look kind of natural and right now I was also a little bit sigh sighing like oh, Vivian internally because it looked a little bit Frankensteinish to me like it didn't look like a cohesive um, cohesive project at all but when I started decorating it it became more and more pretty I started falling more and more in love with it that's me removing the tape and in the end i am so pleased with how this turns out i hope it doesn't sound weird for you that i'm like constantly um tooting my own horn i love that expression for those of you that don't know uh what i'm trying to say is it may sound weird for you that i'm constantly like patting myself on the shoulder like vivian you made something beautiful for those of you that don't follow me for very long, this might sound arrogant or weird, but to those of you that have been with me for longer, you will know that I am quite insecure about my crafting. So for me to actually be 
this confident with something I've made <laughs> is something big and I've been having that more and more often lately where I will just love something that I'm crafting and where I will just get so excited and so inspired and I honestly wish that feeling upon all of you because crafting is super fun and super relaxing but as I can tell you it's even more fun when you're actually super proud of what you've made. So please don't think that I'm arrogant because I'm not. It's just, uh, I feel like it's part of my learning experience. I think we all feel like that sometimes, right? <laughs> I mean, there's this thing called imposter syndrome. And we'll talk about it more after I've done this decorating uh, explanation. What you've seen me do is stick down some sort of a, a leaf glitter type i don't know how else to explain it it's basically glitter tape in the shape of little leaves i got that from becca a while back a long time ago but it's so pretty i've been like hoarding it forever and i've also um, used some washi tape strips around the page as well as done some stamping i have an adorable little um frame stamp that I absolutely love and I've used that to create a little bit of a background to sort of break that blank page. By the way that greyish paper is from an online order invoice. I love shopping at this eco-friendly store called Two Thirds, not sponsored, but they always send an invoice on this like eco eco paper I don't know so it's not bright white but it's kind of like a mushy grey and it's really thin and it's quite nice for crafting with so I'm, I'm just reusing that then I of course also used uh, vintage book pages and some craft paper to decorate the rest of the page then um, I have a mushroom sticker I got those I don't remember I got a few of those in meal and I also ordered some fall themed washi tape stickers from aliexpress last year so i don't <laughs> they're all in that combined sticker bag that you see me pulling from the entire time i just put all of the stickers that resemble fall in there and now for some reason i'm just pulling i'm just putting together a bunch of goodies that i wanted to send so a tag that i got from my pen pal elia uh, another tag and a bunch of things like die kits and stickers and then that little booklet, and that little booklet that I just showed you with the grid pages, I made that in fall themed meal last year. I made two and then I sent one and I kept the other one and I decided that now was the time to use it. And the pages are all the grid, different types of grid paper because I love grid. It's pretty apparent from this meal. It's going to be even more apparent in the next meal, but even in this shot, you can already see two different types of grid <laughs> that I'm using in my crafting. Um, the other things that I'm including as goodies are die cut stamps. Uh, I stamped more frames on some of them and the other ones I've just left blank. I'm also including a bunch of vintage looking tickets that I also got off of Aliexpress and some other random bits and pieces. I decided to decorate the booklet a little bit. My original idea, even though the pages are tiny, there's a lot of writing space. My original idea was to write my letter on there, but then I, in the end, I just left it in there as a goodie. But I could definitely write a, a small letter on there. Um, and now I'm going to decorate. The drumming of the fingers means I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I'm going to decorate that vellum-like washi type. Oh, well, well, what am I saying? Vellum-like little gift bag with uh, various items. I have to admit, I am very big on buying craft supplies. I, I love purchasing stickers and all the stuff like that. But a lot of the things I've used in today's video are actually received stickers and and paper scraps and, and goodies <laughs> so i'm quite proud of myself and that's also what the basket is for i have different baskets filled with different themes and what you see up top is a basket filled the one on the left is a basket filled with craft supplies in fall theme and the basket on the right is filled with cozy days uh goodies which is a collection of uh, scrapbooking supplies 
I actually coincidentally uploaded a Cozy Days haul video over on Patreon, accessible uh, for all tiers. So if you're my patron, you can watch the haul for that. Vintage tickets, blah blah blah, I'm including all of that in the gift bag and then my original idea was to fill that first gift bag we decorated with all of the items that we're making and collecting today but it ended up being so bulky and I also ended up making even more things so I ended up um, dividing everything a little bit differently. <laughs> But what I'm doing here is um, something I don't actually do, I've never actually done, I don't think. I have those note pages, more frames, because I, <laughs> as much as I love grit paper, the, the same amount of love I have for frames, or labels, I guess you should call them labels, not frames. But uh, what I did is I have those note papers of frames, labels, something, and I stick two of them together to create a teeny tiny gift bag. And they're already still connected at the bottom, so I only have to stick washi tape on two of the sides. And then the idea was that the uh, sticky, the note papers themselves could also be reused or the gift bag could be reused. It doesn't really matter, but I end up decorating the front, so maybe that's difficult to use. But if she wants to, the receiver wants to, she totally can. Drumming fingers. Am I going with this collage or am I going to make a different collage? Probably different. Yes, indeed. Anyway, I was talking to you before about imposter syndrome. That's actually something that I saw on Instagram today. I already heard of it before, but um, basically I follow a, an illustrator online on Instagram and she was she's currently in the process of making vlogs. And she very often talks about imposter syndrome. And I did a quick Wikipedia search because I, I was going to try and explain it. But why not just read out the literal definition? Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their skills, talents or accomplishments and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. <laughs> so um, I think a lot of us will recognize this because if you're in, on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, how often do we hear or read someone um, literally putting themselves down. Like how often will we read the phrase and this is a quote because I get this comment a lot. I wish I was as creative as you are. Why do we keep telling ourselves that? First of all, I can tell you that I have that thought very often. I will see someone making something and I will think I could never do that. But then there's people looking at me and also thinking I could never do that. So we, <laughs> oh my gosh, I've said this before, but we are our own biggest critics. And I recognize the thought so much. I recognize this Wikipedia definition so much of a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. I specifically have that around my PO box because I get a lot of mail from people saying things like I wish I was as creative as you and as happy as that makes me it also raises so many question marks because I am as insecure as anyone how, like sometimes I will think how can people look at me and see something that I don't see oh and let me make abundantly clear this is not for you guys to go and tell me Vivian you are super creative you make pretty things don't be so insecure no that's not it obviously um, I'm learning that I am actually creative and like I told you in this video that I can actually be proud of myself but the reason why I was sort of thinking about this. I think I've been thinking about this all day, which is why it turned into a voiceover, which is like 90% of the time when I talk about something in a voiceover, it's because I've, it's been on my mind all day. But um, the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because 
I saw that today again from people believing they were people believe them to be something they were not like people believing they didn't belong or something I really hope this made sense it's Wednesday evening it's quite late I was supposed to not work on videos anymore but I couldn't help myself <laughs> and I just I don't know I wanted to share that thought with you I also want to know like do you ever feel like a fraud I mean if I get no comments I will not believe it because so often when I read on Instagram I read the same insecurities from other people that I have as well so I cannot be the only one that sometimes feels like an imposter like I'm only pretending to be creative but like I said I'm also talking about this because I'm actually getting less and less of that imposter syndrome fear like I'm not good enough fear okay I'm gonna leave it here because this has been rambly um this is the this is the pictures from the mail <laughs> I hope you guys liked it I also will show you some quick clips of the video that is upcoming next week of the part two I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me any of your thoughts down below. Okay, bye-bye.